dash. All right, so today you have history class and we are learning all about money around the world. So what can you tell me about money around the world? That they, that they have different names. Okay, there are different names okay, for my money. Mommy has some. Mommy has what? Mommy has some. What is this? This doesn't look like American money. Yes, it's different money. It's so different I money from Europe? Uh -huh. Wow! That is awesome. So let's start with American money. In American money, we have dollar bills and we have coins. And the one with the the eagle. So the one with the eagle, let's put this down so everyone can see. The one with the eagle is called the quarter, right? Mm -hmm. And if you flip it over, you see a face on the front. Then we also have a dime. Let's see if we can find a dime. This is what a dime looks like. It also has a face on the front. And on the back, you see this picture, this and then we have a nickel, which has this picture on the back, and on the front, you see another face, and then finally we have the penny, which is brown, and you see the face with the picture on the back. So. What can you tell me about these four American coins? What's different about them? Let me put them in order. That they, they're different because they look they're different and easily. Well, let's just talk about the American coins for a second. Just looking at these American coins, are they all the same color? No. Which one is different? This one. The penny, the penny is brown, and the other coins are silver. So how much is a penny? Do you know? One dollar. No, not one dollar, one cent. I was trying to say that. Yes, one cent. And then the nickel is how many cents? Five cents. Five cents, very good. The dime is how many cents? Is it 10? Yep. Yes, it is. And then the quarter is how many cents? 25 cents. 25 cents. Let's put the penny right here and let's write P E N N Y. A penny is one cent. And that's what the cent sign looks like. It looks like a C with a line through it. Then you have the nickel, N-I-C-K-E-L, and the nickel is five cents, right? Mm -hmm. You're tracing over there? Mm -hmm. That's cute. Then you have the dime, D-I-M-E, and the dime is 10 cents. And then finally you have what? The quarter, silly. You have the quarter, which is Q U A R T E R, and the quarter is 25 cents. So the question is how are American coins different than European coins? Let's take a look. Because they're different. Okay. They're different so, this is a lot of coins. And I'm going to be honest. I collected these coins from France, from Paris. I mean, not Paris, from France, from Italy, and from Greece when I went overseas in 2012. So, I don't really know which coins are from where or if it even makes a difference. But we have a website here that can tell us what these are. So, these are called euros, say euros. 
and euros are European coins. And just like in America, let's look at the website. Just like in America, they actually have bills, like paper money, but they also have coins as well. So we're only gonna focus on the coins today because mommy spent all of her bills when she was in Europe a few years ago. So do you see any of these coins here in front of us? Let's look at all of these. This one, this one, this one, this one, this one. I mean on the table, silly. Okay, so I do see this one right here. Watch out. It has an eagle. You see this one right here with a one? Look at this one I'm pointing to. Mm -hmm. You see this one with a one? Mm -hmm. According to this, this is an Italian Euro called a, oh, with a Vitruvian man, or, oh, is that who's on it? A Vitruvian man? All right, so this is worth one euro. Oh, worth so this is euros. this is one euro. Two euros. Okay, so this is a lot of money right here. Okay, and then this, this with this woman on the front. Is that a woman? It looks like a woman. What do you think? And what's on the back? I think I see that. Here, put it down so we can see. On the back, it looks like a woman farming. Do we see that up here anywhere? A woman farming? Uh, I can't really tell. Or a woman on the front. So maybe this is one of my euros from this one right here. Now I see the 10 cents right here. So we have that one. And then what is this one? The back. Oh, it says two. So that's this one right here. Well, I think we should put all of them in the, in the place and then we can find them. Okay. Because if we put all of them in their place, then there will only be one more left. Ex I'll try about except for this one. And then the, you see there will be one more. And then if it's one, that one, we can put it right there. Oh my goodness, look what I just found. This one has a two on it, and it looks just like this one. This is two euros. So this one is even more expensive than this one. So this is one euro, this is two euros, and then we have, oh, five cents. So notice this one has the five on it. See if I can focus. There we go. It has the five. So we have found two cents, five cents, ten cents. Oh, this gives us what the front and the back looks like. Okay. And then we also have one euro and two euros. So what we're missing is the 20 cents and the 50 cents pieces and then we're also missing the one cent piece so if you would like to you can study the euros with your magnifying glass Mommy. Mommy. if this is the girl why can we look closer than this you can Is it this one? What's this called? 
actually this one we weren't able to find it so let me see this says Liberty and it says Ooh, I might need that magnifying glass. Let me see. All right. So on the front, we see the woman's face. And it says, Liberty. And then what does that say over there in the corner? In God we trust. Hey, we have that on one of our coins. That's what it's called. But this doesn't look like our coin. Alright, so this says. Oh, wait. This says United States of America. What? 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 United States of America. What? One cent. What? Is that what it says? What? United States of America. America, one cent. Am I dreaming? Or is my eyes black? But I, Am we live in America, and I've never seen this coin before. Okay, I got to be dreaming. You know what? Let's do some research. Okay, we just found some crazy information. Apparently, this is a rare coin in America called the, and I know I'm probably going to say this wrong, the Sacagawea dollar. So this is not a cent, this is a dollar. And apparently there's not a lot of them anymore. Nobody uses these. So it's very, very rare. And um, this is what it looks like right here. We have one. So maybe we should hold on to it because here it says this rare coin sold for Okay, let me go to daddy. Let me go to daddy. It's this one right here. It's a rare coin. That's apparently American and I've never seen it before. Oh, wow. Hold on. Oh my goodness, that coin sold oh, for $6,600? And we have one. Whoa. Oh my goodness. That is crazy. Yeah. We are rich. Right. Oh we my goodness. I don't even know rich. where I got this. We are rich. All right. Say thanks for tuning in. Thanks for tuning in.